Hello everyone. Itchy nose here. And I was just thinking to myself. You know, I could just do a parody to wake me up when September ends. Only throw in the apocalypse and demonetization. You know. Wake me up. When the monetization ends. Something like that. But, just that little bit of me singing it, you know, the, the actual company that runs the, the bullshit of claiming videos manually. They're going to probably claim it anyway. But that's totally transformative and it's totally a parody and a satire on what's actually going on in YouTube. It's totally 100 fucking percent within fair use. Even that dude doing the, the drum intro to... I don't remember what song it was. <clears throat> doing the drums on garbage cans. It's not uh, a satire, but it's definitely a parody. Then again, I wouldn't be able to use the, instrument, the instrumentals. Dead claim it simply for having the instrumentals in it. I can't make my own. They'll claim it over that too. Fuck's sake. For fuck's sake! Susan with Jiki Board. Grow a set of fucking morals the right ones, clap them together, and stop being such a bent over bitch and taking out the ass from all these assholes, just because of fucking money. Money don't make the world go round. It halts its progression still. It, just, it freezes it up. It's a fucking barrier. It's a fucking paywall on life now. It's called taxation. They tax you when you get paid doing a job. They tax you at the end of the fucking year because you get money from getting to having a job. They double tax you right there, just like if you were in an IRA account. You're treated as a fucking slave by your own fucking government. You're double taxed just because you, you li you're alive and you work in a fucking job. Then there's insurance. That's a tax on being alive. Then they've made it mandatory fucking mandatory to have life and car insurance. It's a fucking car, man. If you got enough money to buy another one, or pay for the damages that you unintentionally inflicted on someone else, is fine. You don't need fucking insurance. It's just another fucking taxing you to death right there. There's three of them. No. Technically, those two, life and car insurance, that's four of them. They're taxing you to goddamn death. Then they want to leak in and stop claiming stuff on YouTube and take even more money from you. When does it all end?
with the current system of idiots in charge, and they are fucking idiots, they've built this Ponzi scheme, pyramid scam, of taxing you to death. You got a job? Okay, give us fucking money, because you got a job. You get paid a job at the end of the... And, and you work still working at the end of the year? Okay, pay us money, because you're still working at the end of the fiscal year. Oh, you're alive? Give us fucking money. It's called health insurance. It's a fucking scam, mate. You got a car? Give us fucking money because you got a car. You got a house? Give us fucking money because you own the house. When does it fucking end? And then they want to offer credit cards. Okay, give us fucking money just because you've used money you don't have. Give us more fucking money back. It's not what borrowing money is. That's a predatory loan shark thing is what it is. Exactly. That's what it is. <clears throat> and fuck all if you have a bank account. Oh, you earned interest on money and that you earned and paid tax on? And then pay tax on it at the end of the year, and you have it in an account, and you earn money off that? Okay, give us money off of that, too. If you set up an interest-bearing savings account. Oh, you're making even more money off of your own money that you, you've hard-earned. Oh, give us even more money off of that. We want our fucking cut. <laughs> if you open up um, a fucking... brokerage account. Oh, you've got money in there that you put in yourself that you've earned? Yeah, give us money off that. We want 33.3 over dash percent right off the top. Oh, you're making money off dividends because you bought a, a one share in a company? Hey, give us money off that too. And if any amount of it goes into your, your, your brokerage account, you make money off of that, give us money off of that too. They're taxing you to goddamn death. That's why all these companies are strangling you for more money. <clears throat> That's why YouTube's been hit with it. A couple of years ago, some fucking idiot dipshit who doesn't know jack shit said, Oh, the world west days of YouTube are over. <laughs> well, congratulations for you. You're now into the days of quadruple fucking taxing you because you got a YouTube channel now. Congrats, you fucking lations. Good for fucking you. Now these companies who are making fuck all billions off of selling records and shit, they're going, oh yeah. You're making a parody, mate. Well, fuck you. I don't care if it's fair use. Give me your fucking money. It's gotten so damn bad. They're claiming shit that's in video games. That the, the fucking... The video game development team had to pay to buy access to the fucking... Oh, what's that damn thing called? The rights. The fucking rights to the music. Yeah. Your games and everything. Just got music in it. The dev teams actually had to pay. To buy the rights to it. So that they. Have. Ownership control. Over it. In the game. So if anyone should be claiming. The copyrights. To the stuff that's in your games mate. It's the fucking development team. Not the higher-ups. Not the corporates. Not the uh, Sony Music Entertainment. Not them fucks. They need to fuck off. Fuck off. That's what they need to do. It should be the fucking developers. Because they have to pay money to the rights holder. Well, in some cases, it may be the actual band members themselves. But they have to pay 
to buy the music so that they have ownership of it and then they put it into the game. Those are the ones who should be claiming it, the developers of the game that the music is in, not the fucking music industry itself. <clears throat> when does it all end? When does this taxing you upon taxing you upon taxing you upon taxing your taxes that you've already been taxed upon, when does it all end? And yeah, I do fucking know because I do have a fucking brokerage account that was going to use money from Patreon and... PayPal supporters as well as YouTube ad revenue I was going to use all three of them combined and just start buying up the fucking stock of the gaming industry itself I was just going to fucking buy it all out and then fix all this wretched shit that they've done such as the predatory loot boxes that's just basically taxing you for having fun a pleasure tax and I heard that the government got involved. Ooh, oh so precious big brother government can't do anything wrong. And put a fucking tax on violent video games because, you know, Trump's a fuckwit bitch idiot that needs to what, kill itself. Just like Bobby Kotick. At this point, I'm starting to think Susan with weird jicky board needs to kill herself too. It's raining outside right now. Winds of change have already begun to blow. It's in the works. It's happening. People are going to slowly start waking up. Waking up to this real world, Neo. The shithole that you've made for yourself. The shithole that corporatocracy has made for you. The shithole that big business has made for everyone to drown in. I hope I got that spot on, Jim Sterling. I really do. Really do. And yeah, I'm going to post a link to this video in Jim Sterling's comments. And I'm going to ask a bunch of people to vote it up and then, you know, ask him to view it. Because I've, I've got a bunch of things to fucking say. Really, I do. A bunch of fucking things to say. And if I go quiet for a minute, it's because I'm just punching in my password while I sign in on the uh, sex box numero uno the glorious paperweight that it is because there's a fucking X chip in every fucking mechanical device that tells it when to stop fucking working when the, the corporate bastards press a fucking button it's fucking bullshit is what it is in several other countries there's there's a fucking regulation and it's downright fucking illegal in some countries to plan your product for obsolescence. Yeah, it's a fucking thing. Uh, YouTuber AVE, he goes over which failure modes are built into certain power tools and equipment that you buy. That's why he says a shielded is a shielded is a shielded shill someone who takes money to do a product placement you're shilling out just to get fucking money you're selling out to shill in where however the fuck it works I don't know what shill means in Canada I just know the context in which he uses it means 
someone who's accepting money to make a positive review of some piece of garbage shite. And one video that makes me think of the, the X-Chip bullshit is the, uh, the Boltor teardown he did for the Juicero. The Internet of Things. Yeah, if it's not hooked up to your Wi-Fi, it doesn't fucking work. If it sees that the scan code on a package is even one fucking second past its expiration date, it doesn't fucking juice it. Go figure, right? And all it's doing is squeezing a bag of liquid. You can do that with your bare hands, mate. Juicero. The fucking garbage of Silicon Valley, basically. For all the fucking halfwits who are stupid and have so much money they don't know what to do with. And have more money than common sense. More penny sense than they do common sense. What's the state of the world these days? Everyone's become becoming even more of a bumbling fucking idiot. And you've all got to fucking wake up. No, seriously. It's just not it's not time to stop. It's way past it. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up to the real world you've created. For yourselves, for your children, and your children's children, and their children's 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 children's. It's time to wake up. It's time to see the shit pile that you've made for your kids. It's time for you to accept that the school shootings are your own fucking fault for putting so much stress on kids. It's time for the kids to wake up and see how shitty that their parents <clears throat> working in the corporatocracy have made everything for all of the fellow kids online. Even if, if they even do fucking play games online. It's time for everyone to wake up and stop thinking America is separate from Canada or Australia or China or Great Britain or England which are like this fucking close. I looked on a map. They're literally like into fucking twined. It's time for you guys to stop thinking you're separate from one another and stop being fucking codgers to each other. You fuckwits. It's time for everyone to stop thinking they're separate. And yeah, there's a bunch of other countries I've left out. It's time for all the people in Nigeria to stop doing 419 scams. It's time for everybody to stop trying to scam everyone else for more money. I look around today, I see nothing but Ponzi schemes and pyramid scams. Everywhere. Insurance. They're selling you something you think you might need, but not really, if you plan your finances and take care of yourself accordingly. If you exercise enough caution and correct judgment and discernibility while driving, you don't fucking need car insurance. If you leave a few minutes early for work accounting for the variable flow of traffic and the possibility of an actual accident that's unavoidable costing you another 10 to 20 minutes if you account for that then you've got no fucking worries do you if everyone would slow the fuck down ease up wake up and realize Hey, we've all made this world shit. And yeah, I exclude myself. Because, you know, I don't fucking vote. I didn't register to vote. Never fucking will. It's a goddamn scam. <clears throat> they don't count as fucking ballots. They really don't. 
has been highlighted in South Park. You know, South Park is the biggest fucking goddamn hilarious satirical parody of real life. Look at the situations they've parodied in satire. Look it up. You see for yourself. When Trey and Matt were do running the whole thing, basically by themselves, they were satiring and parodying everything that's going on in the world around them. It's time to wake up and realize how shitty the world really is that you have all had a hand in making. Yeah, every last fucking one of you. Some of you I have talked to. May have been a few years since I have. May take a few more years past now for you to see this video. But some of you I have fucking talked to. I've tried to get things started on changing shit. I really have. I tried to get people to realize the bullshit that's happening. I pointed out a few things. I've said that's bullshit. Here's why. Yada yada yada. I've explained it. And every last one of them. I'm like, no. I really don't want to have any part of this. The fuck is wrong with you? You live in this fucking world. You're a part of it. Whether you want to be or not. You sitting on your ass not wanting to do anything has made you contribute to the overall shitty quality of life. <sighs> Meanwhile, I know one one person, one, out of the fucking near seven or eight billion on this planet. Yeah, thousands, millions, billions. Billion. One. One out of nearly eight, seven or eight fucking billion. I know one person who's actually trying to do something. It sure as hell ain't me. I don't have the fucking tools and resources to do shit anymore. Every time I try to talk to people, they don't want to have any fucking part of it. Because they're afraid that the government's going to come kick in the door because they're talking about things that involve the fucking government. Because they're afraid. Because they're afraid to stand up for themselves to do what's right. Because they're afraid that they're going to have a SWAT team busting down the door and send them to prison for conspiracy or some shit. That's fucking bullshit. When, when your citizens are afraid of your government, that's when your government is a fucking terrorist. Some of these people here in the fucking states I've talked to just don't want to do any damn thing. It states quite clearly in the Declaration of Fucking Independence. There is the duty of the citizen to rise up against such a tyranny, to abolish it, to erase it from existence, to establish a new governing power that will not infringe upon those certain unalienable and constitutional rights. And we're at the point right now where if everyone doesn't wake the fuck up and stop being a complete bitch that the only realistic alternative is what these idiots are doing going out and killing people because they're so stressed that they've snapped just broken in the head they can't take it anymore they can't take the fucking bullshit They've seen one teeny tiny grain of sand on the beach of how fucked reality really is, and they can't fucking take it. So they break down mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Like that one person who went and shot up the YouTube headquarters. And now it's like a damn near daily 
fucking occurrence, just one after the next. I find it fucking hilarious. I really do. <laughs> fucking idiots. You did it to yourself, you fucking deserve it. You pushed and you pushed, just like the asshats <clears throat> in the corporate level of gaming are pushing and pushing the development teams and calling them bodies and saying, oh, we can just get more bodies. You're pushing people too fucking far. The next step up on this ladder of shit is you see a major fucking shooting in the gaming industry. That's what's going to be next. If it hasn't already happened and, the, you know, me posting this video is just, you know, too late to do and I told you so, you know. But for me, you know, it's fucking Sunday, May 12th. 11, almost 12, midday, so I'm telling you guys, ease the fuck up, stop being such a money-grubbing bitch, stop taxing people to death, fucking 11 different ways, yeah, 11 ways to Sunday, abolish the fucking taxes, it's just too fucking much. Tax the rich people. They've got more money. Put the fucking burden on them. Tax Bobby Kotick. He's got billions. Well, fuck makes like 10 mil a goddamn day. He can stand to be taxed at 80%. He really fucking can. Hell, he could live comfortably even if you tax him 100 fucking percent of his pay. What's the government gonna do, even if the those assholes see this fucking video? Not a goddamn thing. They're quite content with taxing people like you and me up here, down here on the fucking bottom rung. Why do you have your avatar riding a unicorn, mate? They're perfectly content to put more pressure on the people at the bottom of the pyramid. Now I've said it before, the pyramid is not meant to be used that way. It's, um, it's not a pyramid scam. It's not set up to show you how to control every fucking thing because the people at the bottom get fucking squished. The pyramid is a representation of an equilateral, equiangular self, where the consciousness sits up top, and then the four pillars of the physical being support your consciousness. It's all about higher learning and higher self-awareness. It's not about sitting on top of everyone else below you while you rake in more money than they earn in their lifetime and you do it all in one fucking day it's not about that it's not what the pyramid was meant to represent the pyramid on the back of the dollar bills it doesn't represent what it's supposed to anymore it's supposed to represent opening the mind's eye higher awareness of self ascending to a higher level of being it's a physical metaphor for a holistic view of self to become a better person to ascend from the boundaries of the physical realm and go and grow and become a better person elsewhere not Skyrim but elsewhere every every fucking idiot Every fucking retard thinks a pyramid is, is a fucking scam and they need to be at the top of it. Just to make more than the other guy. It's not what it's about. 
it's a holi holistic representation of one individual becoming a better person. That's the way it's supposed to be with everybody, not just one person. It's an aspiration to obtain. Not a fucking scam or a position to dominate your will and influence over everyone else. It's not what it's about. And if you're thinking, oh, they, they haven't charged you for breathing yet. No one's holding a gun to your head. What you call being put in prison for not paying your taxes? They literally put a fucking gun to your head, you stupid bitch. And yeah, they do charge you for breathing air. Two different ways. If you ever go to the hospital and they put you on O2, they charge you for it. They charge you for the rubber hoses going into your nose. They charge you for the amount of oxygen expended. They charge you for the use of the tank itself. They itemize the fucking bill. I've seen one. Or if you go to a medical supply shop and buy a tank of O2, they charge you literally for fucking air. Or if you go and get scuba equipment, they literally charge you for a bottle of fucking air. Yes, they do charge you for breathing. Yes, they fucking do. And yeah, there's a tax on your life just because you're fucking alive. It's fucking bullshit. All this bullshit with money needs to stop. It's egregious. It directly and blatantly off offends and infringes upon your fucking unalienable right to life. That's what money fucking does these days. They're charging you so much money in taxes, you can't fucking live your own life. You're literally a fucking slave to the fucking machine. And if you don't believe me, there's a myriad of YouTube videos that point out how money really works. There's one that's titled The History of Your Enslavement. And what are some of the others? <clears throat> For fuck's sake been through so fucking many of them that I can't fucking remember. But yeah, the, the knowledge is fucking out there if YouTube hasn't fucking deleted it yet. And with everything I'm saying, Reverse and think of it this way. Look at everything around you and think, how are they using this to enslave people? How are they using this to get more money out of people? Mate, you don't have to look very far. There's one YouTuber who used to work for the, uh, the printer ink industry. And they charge like 60 fucking dollars for a fucking ink cartridge that doesn't even cost a quarter to manufacture and he tells you quite precisely and concisely that it has a chip in it that is designed that when it's below a certain percentage usually it's around 30 to 45 percent that's still left in it it tells you it's empty and it, it makes the printer not use that ink it makes it shut down. There's chips like that in every fucking thing. They're called X chips. They're in your fucking phones, your computers, your televisions. They're in your fucking cameras that's not a phone. They're in fucking your headsets that you buy. 
then your fucking video game consoles, every last fucking one of them, they systematically shut down functions as time progresses. Like with Microsoft shutting down people's ability to play DVDs and Blu-rays on their Xbox One. Yeah, fancy that shit. Or, you know, your computer, where, you know, something funky might happen, you've never had it connected to the internet, and it just decides one day, oh, I'm not going to do this today. It's called planned obsolescence. It's just a way to make you spend more money. So you can't really enjoy what you've got. You've got to always get more. It's all relative. It's, it's all relevant. It's just part of a big fucking scam. It's not time to stop. It's way past time to stop. It's, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up from this deluded delusion of grandeur and control because it doesn't exist. It's a dream. It's a maniacal pipe dream is what it is. <clears throat> I see this shit all the time every day around me and I don't fucking get out much once or twice a month at most but I see it I pay attention to other people who see it I pay attention to what they have to say how they say what they say what tone of voice they're using and all kinds of stuff they use the basics of psychology to analyze how they're saying what they're saying, how much inflection they give to it, and that opens up an entire fucking book of knowledge to me. Let's me know what they're passionate about, how passionate they are, why they're being passionate, and a myriad of other things. Say, let's take Angry Joe, for instance. He's going on about uh, the newest Mortal Kombat to come out, and how they've shoveled in the, the, the systems that are used in the mobile gaming market just to get money out of it. He's nearly fucking heartbroken over that shit. He genuinely hates it when companies act so egregiously and get money out of you just for the sake of getting money out of you. An image comes to mind uh, from, what was it, one of those, uh, what was it, Shadow of Mordor or something? Well, the goblin rubbing his fucking hands together and the, the two uh, devs fucking playing the game, mimicking it. Yeah, really shady, really fucking slimy shit. It's got to stop. Everybody's got to wake up. All I can do is spill on about it. That's all I can fucking do. I don't have the tools. I don't have the fucking money to buy an advertising campaign to get the message out there any faster and yeah YouTube's done something to where if you stop posting links and shit then they'll come and delete your fucking channel yeah they're, they're doing their own version of censorship and uh, terrorism yeah government's a terrorist no matter which one it is YouTube's a fucking terrorist. It's all psychology. That's the war that's going on today. It's a psychological mind game. So it's a psychological war. <clears throat> then you've got really bad fuck ups who just want to watch the world burn 
and get the public opinion riled up against everything. So they say really fucked up shit in social media and on YouTube. Meanwhile, it's pretty much a mirror image of what I'm saying. Which is fucked up now, isn't it? It's only that the really bad people, they're doing it more anonymously. They're not going to show their faces on, on the, their fucking cameras unless they're really fucking ballsy and they've riled up so much public opinion to their side that they know for an absolute that it's going to fucking work. Because they've psychologically manipulated everyone into believing what they want them to believe, how they want them to believe it, and even to think what they want them to think. It's called manipulation. <clears throat> and they'll never fucking tell you, honestly. Oh, I'm saying this because this reason, and this is what I want to happen. I just want all this bullshit to stop. I want all this bullshit to stop. I want to enjoy living my own fucking life. I want to have fun in games again. I'm a gamer. I game, therefore I am. I want to have fun playing games again. Without the egregious microtransactions and overly priced ones. When they originally started out, they were really small. Pennies. Literally fucking pennies worth. Then they started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it progressed slow enough so that no one really fucking noticed. Now... It's the, it's the analogy of boiling a frog alive. They've slowly raised the price of things to where now everyone's noticing. And it's too late. Your legs are boiled off. You can't fucking move. You're stuck. No amount of clamoring on top of another frog in the pot is going to help. They've closed the fucking lid. The only thing that you can hope for now is to wait it out and hope you live long enough to see someone pull the lid off the pot. That's where we're at right now. For the common people at the bottom of this pyramid of bullshit, that's where we all are. We have no choice but to wait for the inevitable. For you, the people who are at the top of this pyramid of shit. People like Bobby Cotter, you need to stop being such a bitch. You need to stop treating your employees like fucking shit before one of them actually finds where you fucking live and puts a fucking bullet in your goddamn head. You deserve it. I'd love to fucking see a, a fucking news feed saying that. I'd love to see a news feed saying that the shooter remains unfound. I'd love to know that someone killed your fucking ass and got away with it. I'd love to know that. I'd love for that to really happen. Absolutely. I'm actually livid just thinking about it. But realistically, you ass fucking bitches at the top of the fucking pyramid scam of life that you've turned this shitstorm into. You need to wake up and realize that the next person that's going to inherit your fucking bullshit is going to be compared to you and treated like shit by everyone. You need to realize that once you're fucking gone, once you're dead, once you're a fucking corpse, no one will fucking miss you. And your so-called friends who are up there with you and have money, they'll buy new friends. They don't fucking care. That's how the rich people in today's economy and social sociology, that's how people today fucking work. They don't give a fuck. You think they're your friends? No, they're not. 
if you start doing what's right because it's what's right and let everyone have their fair share your so called rich friends they're gonna do a 180 and leave your fucking ass they don't give a fuck you're there because you have money that's the only thing that got you to be their friends that is the only thing that's keeping your ass alive. All of you need to get together at the top of this pyramid of shit and start digging everyone else out. Together. You have the fucking ability. You have the fucking tools. You have the fucking money to burn. And don't tell me you fucking don't. This is the best I can do, is to tell you it's time to stop being such a piece of shit and to do a fucking 180 socially towards everyone around you. It's not time to go give a homeless man money, no. That shit doesn't fucking work. That feed the, the Africa f bullshit that went on years ago, back in the fucking 60s, that shit does not fucking work. The only thing that those people in Africa learned was if we whine hard enough, we'll get money. So what did they do? They became the 419 scammers. What, what's that country? The Somalian pirates? Yeah, they're not jacking boats anymore. They're fucking phoning you up saying, Oh, I'm a sexy girl. Give me money because I'm on my period. That's what they're fucking doing these days. The only thing you taught them was to be dependent, not to be independent, but at the same time, yeah, you've got to give people their fair fucking share of the money, and the government's got to stop taxing everybody just because they're fucking alive. You earn that dollar, you keep it. Now that's just step one of weaning the entire fucking planet off of fucking money. They're worthless. They have no fucking value. The end goal is for everyone to do what is right because it's what's fucking right. You gotta start somewhere. So why not start with, you know, lowering all these absurd prices cut off this bullshit that's ever increasing known as the rising cost of living cut it the fuck off it's gone too high already in just in just less than three years I saw prices quadruple in just less than three years I saw the price of an 86 cent loaf of bread quadruple the cheapest fucking one quadrupled. It's fucking absurd. Stop doing all this nonsense. It doesn't take ten thousand dollars to manufacture a cartridge of ink. Why are you trying to make that much money off of it? <clears throat> it doesn't cost thousands of dollars to mold a piece of plastic into a, a fucking controller or a covering for a laptop or the shell around the TV or your fucking video game console or the fucking case that your DVD or your Blu-ray comes into. Why are you trying to make it cost that much? Why are you selling this finished product at 500 fucking times as a markup? Why do you want so much fucking money? It's not going to save your ass if you die. It's not going to save your ass if someone puts a fucking 12 gauge with six quarters in it to your head and pulls the fucking trigger. It's not going to save you then. Money's not going to be a bulletproof shield now, is it? If you get into a fucking car wreck, is all that money going to be in your fucking airbag cushioning you from the impact? Fucking hell no! And why are you making cars so damn cheap? Why are you making them out of shit? 
once you make them out of sturdier materials so that when they do have a wreck, people don't fucking die. Why are you putting less than $10 worth of metal in a car and charging thousands for it, eh? Why? Why all this bullshit over money? The only way I see money having any real value is to train people <clears throat> to manage their resources. That's the only way it could ever be beneficial to anyone ever. That's the only fucking way. The only way. And even then, you still have to put in the effort to train people to view it as a representation of resources. This isn't a dollar. No, wait, here, I'll actually fucking get one out. I've got one dollar at least. This isn't a fucking dollar, mate. This is a finite representation of the resources around you. It's a representation of the resources around you that you can use. You can go and buy something you want with it. You can go and buy something you need with it. That one dollar is meant to help you think about managing your resources, mate. I want you to think about all the possible ways you can manage this as a resource. And think about this as a representation of the resource you want to manage. That's the way training needs to go. Money is just... It's insignificant. I mean, yeah, in a small enclosed environment, it can work as a tool to instruct people how to manage other resources. In a finite representation, in an all-if-null variation of how the world really works. But it doesn't work that way. It's just burying people alive. Psychologically, emotionally, mentally, metaphorically, it's burying people alive. And at this point, we need to do away with money altogether. It's not training people to manage resources. The people who are training their kids, they aren't teaching their kids that this is a representation of the resources you need to manage. Not even the government's doing that in the school system. They're telling you, oh yeah, go to school, get a job, make money, pay your taxes, and then die. That's literally what they tell you in fucking schools. Well, not literally word for fucking word, but once you break it down, that is literally what's being taught in schools. They teach you, oh yeah, take this class, and this class, and this class. So that when you get to college, you can take this class, this class, and this class to get X job that you want. That way you can pay your taxes. And if you ask people about things, or, you know, when I ask people about things, you know, it's the only thing I have to do is pay my taxes and die. Really? Really? That's it then. Is that is that what this money business is about? Paying your taxes and dying, mate? Is that what it's all about, eh? Really? Is that it? And hang on. Hell forbid you have an independent or original thought in your own mind and then share it with the teachers. They put you out in the hallway. They put you in time out. They put you in detention for that shit. You get punished for thinking for yourself in school. You're not there to learn anything. You're there to be a fucking slave. All this shit needs to change. And
and yeah, I have rambled on for a very long time about it. So I'll stop now. Because me continuously trying to pound it into your head. It doesn't work for much. Not all in one video. That's why I keep going on a bit about it. Piece by piece, video by video. That's why I keep going on. Repetition builds memory. Once you get to a certain age, there's only two ways to really learn. Repetition and hypnosis. And I don't have... I don't have the knowledge I need to hypnotize you just to make you see how fucked up reality really is that you've helped make it. But I can repetitiously try and blunt it out there until you get the point. It's a very blunt, very painful point too. Yeah, but that's it for now. Hopefully, my next video will be, you know, me just screwing around in a video game or something and actually having fun. Might be Subnautica. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll come back later. Till next time, toodles. Fucking almost an hour.